<ride> sto scherzando ragazzi vi auguro una buona visione se avete paura andate via dalla streaming un bacino parla inglese come un indiano batte in affanculo questo l'hai capito? User Cheryl Sweetie 2 on TikTok is a single mother and seamstress who says that she and her daughter have been experiencing strange and unsettling things inside their home. For months, they've been hearing the sound of someone walking in the hallway outside of their bedrooms, and they've found their things mysteriously moved from room to room. Things have gotten so strange that Cheryl even began to worry that they might have a squatter living in their walls. So she installed a security camera so that she can keep an eye on their home. One night Cheryl's daughter is playing with her toys in her mother's bedroom when something disturbing happens that Cheryl still just can't explain. Però sembra io quando perdo a poker, parlo con i muri, vedi? Metto là, parlo. Quando per 10 ranked. Quando fai 10 top 8. Lei non sta a parlare. Eh, avrà finito le parole, metta. Saranno solo bestemmie che non capiamo. Che è successo? Eh. walks toward the closet, seemingly expecting something to be inside. And then she just stands there transfixed, almost as if she sees something that we can't. She seems to get a little spooked and leaves, and the closet door slowly closes by itself. what to make of this video, and about three months later, this happens. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump on really quick because I had to stop sewing. My daughter just said that something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately, just different noises and stuff. Um, don't mind my mannequins, I sew for a living. Ma io, so. ma io non è cattiveria, ma puoi mettere sti manichini in camera di tua figlia? Eh, ma, ma, ma più che altro in camera di tua figlia? Ma in camera di tua figlia, mate, questa ci avrà sei anni che esce con gli incubi. Ma come cazzo? Ma come si fa, mate? Ma come cazzo si fa? Boh, camera della figlia. Ma questa è matta. Ma è la camera della figlia sì, mate. Che ne c'ha mamma? Vedi, il lettino è piccolo, c'è cioè il pupazzo. È la camera della figlia sicuro, mate. I see that there's something on this door. Under the closet door? Ma capito? Ah! Mortacci tua! Si manichini di merda! I manichini di merda! Ma chi ce li mette sta stanza? Porco Dio! Si manichini di merda! Ma che cazzo ce li mette? Mannaggia la puttana! Ma che cazzo? Ma che cazzo ce li Ma io salto... Voi dovete capire, ragazzi, che io... Io vado in improspettiva, ragazzi. Io sono il personaggio. Quando succedono queste cose... Quando succedono queste cose, io sono il personaggio. Io vivo proprio quel... Io stavo vivendo in prima persona quello che succede, capito? Io mi medesimo sempre. E quindi per questo salto. Se mi succedesse il video, salterei. E che fa gli scherzi a cane, mate? Tu sei spaventato meno male. Io mi sono cagato sotto. Is that what scared you? Hmm. 
It's okay. Everything's all right. What? I'm scared. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Cheryl's daughter seems scared as she says that she sees something just underneath the closet door. But there's nothing inside except for a kind of creepy mannequin. However, the mannequin seems to start moving on its own and falls over, breaking into pieces. Cheryl and her daughter are terrified and they just get out of bed. I'm scared of Cheryl, sweetie, too. I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened. So, I'm going to go home. She and her daughter are moving out to stay at her friend's house until they can find a new place to live. The old Willis place. Urban explorer Robert from the YouTube channel Sidestep Adventures into History is joined by his friend Dan to explore an Yo, old abandoned house, house in the, in the woods, woods near Waverly Hall, in Georgia. Georgia. Dan estimates the Alabama. house to have been built or rebuilt around the early 1900s, after which it was abandoned sometime in the 1960s. The house is known by locals to be the old, old Willis place, old West, named yeah. after Mr. Willis, a man who lived there and presumably also died there. Now Robert and Dan are determined to find more clues as to exactly how old the house is. Questo. Ma mi sa che sta in stream a vedere qua, non lo so. And even underneath. Non so se ci pensa già a farlo vedere. Doesn't that look like an early settlement style? Del manichino di Chief Chimney there. What's interesting is the chimney looks like an older style than the house looks. I'm thinking that this was probably built in the early 1900s. The child's room. Well, let's go. How old do you reckon that is? That's old. It's not silver, it's, it's brass, silver plated. Oh, look. Look, uh, look at the entire stump. Looks like it was cut down, I guess, with an ax. Let me set the light down. I'm gonna touch it. This is an old tree right here. That's for sure. But while inspecting the foundation of the old Willis place, the two explorers are suddenly interrupted by something downright <laughs> creepy. Either this was a one-room house, or it was a two-room house with a dog trot all the way down the middle. It's kind of hard to tell from here. It's uh, been a lot of pillars replaced under here. Yeah. A lot of floor supports. So that's a 1958 Coke bottle, right? What is that? <laughs> Oh, that's weird. Here. Here. Oh, that's weird. 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 strange. You heard that, right, Dan? Yes, I did. <laughs> That was weird. All right, that's gonna, that's enough at this old house for a minute. We're gonna go look at something else. All right, uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have... Madonna. Robert and Dan are taking a look underneath the house when suddenly they hear the eerie sound of footsteps on the floor right above them. Oh, what is that? <laughs> They quickly crawl out from underneath the house and look inside, but there's no one there. Then while filming the outro for the video, a loud bang is heard from the old Willis place. All right, uh, well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have... The two explorers are a bit creeped out by the bizarre experience and decide to just get away from the house. They explore the area a bit more and then head home. So could it be that they accidentally captured a paranormal event on camera? Could it be the ghost of old Mr. Willis? 
You can watch this entire exploration, as well as many more surveys of creepy and historic abandoned locations, over on the YouTube channel, Sidestep Adventures into History. We need scary videos, so if you see anything that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Paranormal Captivity. This next video was shared to the internet by Reddit user Lauren Constantino from Auburn, Pennsylvania. Lauren says that she has recently moved into an old early 1900s house that she shares with two roommates. Late one evening, Lauren is hanging out when she spots her roommate's cat in the hallway and decides to take a short video. But as she's recording, she spots something very disturbing. Did you see it? For just a fraction of a second, a distorted face appears right in front of the cat. Look at it all, yeah. Shocked by what she captured, Lauren posts her video on Reddit in the hopes of getting some answers. But Reddit users are quick to point out that the face looks like it could have been made with some popular common face filters. But Lauren she says saw. that she wasn't using any kind of app or filter. She was recording directly from her iPhone's camera. Nice trap, but what is <laughs> truly bizarre is that this Bonto face friend, doesn't look like any face altering, makeup, or face swapping filter was used. The face is odd and twisted and has hair, eyebrows, a nose, and mouth. And even creepier, half of another distorted upside down face seems to appear right beside it. So just what is this? I leave it up to you to decide. The Router Revenant. A jet bueno no, is the proud new owner of a small Spanish. internet cafe in Marilao, oh. Philippines. Oh, Philippines. Late one night, a jet's girlfriend, Jen, drives over to the cafe to catch up on some important paperwork. Jen is completely alone with only their cat, Bulog, to keep her company. What happens next is truly bizarre. Che succede? Ma posso dire una cosa? Perché in sto posto ci sono... A parte, la lasciamo le sedie, ma perché c'è stato un bilanciere? Vabbè. Continuiamo. Vabbè, ma la scopa è decorativa, però il bilanciere... Per... Mmm... Oh, chiedo pure io. Guarda qua che casino Un bacino tanto allora Sei un uomo impegnato Eh signor Cotto ma ci credo Sì infatti magari sono dopo come se fosse normale Ma se... Ho pensato anch'io sai È normale che sia infestato sì Bau balt ma baiat bauan ma cadala Nick Pagagin, Galing, Sabas. Headphones and a keyboard start falling Bro. from desks, eventually freaking out Jen so much that she hurries out of the cafe and calls her boyfriend Ajet, the cafe owner. Ajet seems to calm her down I'm enough that she goes back inside to collect her things. But as Jen turns off the lights, 
One of the chairs quickly slides toward her, scaring her so much that she panics and just throws her paperwork at the chair and runs out. A jet shares his CCTV footage to his social media and asks people to keep an open mind. Now, a jet and his girlfriend Jen have never posted My anything Lord. about the paranormal before, and they say they have never experienced anything supernatural. Eh, ma se dico del negozio come fa? But is it real, or is it all just, just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Tocca che anni. The Goodwill Ghost Doll. TikTok user James Potter bought a very creepy doll at his local Goodwill. At the time, a store employee warned James that the doll's previous owner was in a rush to get rid of it because she believed it was very haunted. Okay. James didn't believe in the paranormal and knew the doll was worth quite a bit of money. So he bought it and took it home. That's when he realized that he had made a huge mistake. Cool. James began to hear voices. The doors in his home started to open and close on their own. And scariest of all, he started seeing strange shadowy shapes around his home. James decided to place the doll on a chair in an empty room with a motion activated camera monitoring it. What he captures is downright creepy. Eh, downright creepy. Non è downright chilling a minora. Eh, le bambole mate. Ma, ma che sei pazzo? Ma che è un gatto? Oh. Ah, che le camera non vuole guardare. Manca delle camera vuole guardare. The camera moves around as Manca delle camera, fammi guardare il in the empty room. But nothing's moving. Non la gira lui, è una, è una camera è una camera che capta i movimenti, quindi a seconda di dove va, sente movimento, percepisce movimento, si gira. Però non si sa perché si gira addosso al muro, magari è vento. Non so. Across the floor in the hallway behind the doll. James explains that the camera only moves when it senses physical motion. Physical so motion. he has no idea why the camera would be moving when there's nothing there. Another night of eh, filming. Sì. Eh, sì. And when James checks his camera footage, he is shocked. Eh, ci credo, c'ho une. Che vede adesso? Ha abbassato il braccio. Oh! Oh! Guarda, mo' se la faccia da... da... Non lo spam. Mi scatta mi sento male che ho 118. The camera still moves all around, seemingly tracking something that we can't Ma io mi chiedo. Then the doll seems to just start moving all on its own. James says that he was a skeptic before all this, but that he now 100% believes that the doll he brought home from Goodwill has a paranormal entity attached to it. But what do you think is happening here? Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Trespassers. This next mysterious video was shared to Reddit by Raphael H445, who claims that his sister recorded the footage on her property. Late one night, a motion activated security camera outside their home senses movement. Sì, don't screamer cazzo, mate, c'è gioco. Allora, l'unico modo per cui ci potrei giocare è se gioco su Discord con qualcuno. The CCTV records two trespassers standing at the property gate. 
The homeowner heads outside to demand that they leave and clicks his car alarm to activate his truck's headlights. It lights up the two strangers as clear as day, but when he yells for them to leave, they don't move. Then the man heads for his truck, reaching inside and flipping on the headlights. But the trespassers have disappeared. To this day, the family has no idea who they were or what they were doing there. But most disturbing of all, where did they go? Graveyard Flyer A while back, we featured a video by ghost hunters David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. In the video, they visited what is said to be a haunted church and captured multiple encounters with a creepy shadow figure. Did you used to play piano here? This one we've seen, remember? In the past. We would love to hear you play again. Well, David and Dell decided to return to the church for another investigation. But this time their plans aren't to investigate the church. Because you see, just outside the church is an old cemetery with graves dating back to the early 1800s. The guys decide to investigate the graveyard for any paranormal activity. And at first, they don't really experience anything. Is anybody out here? So the guys decide to split up and explore the cemetery when separately. When the As David wanders the alone the through the graves, he sees something that he just can't explain. Ma che sei matto? Anche mio signore, si parlo che c'erano giusto per fare i quatti, capito? Eh? Oh, oh. oh Eh sì, giovane ci sta. Sure che non sai so che fa. Like a it looked like a shadow or something go to that bush. A shadow going to the bush? I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. It was like a shadow. It's over here, it's over here. The bush, the bush, the bush. Madonna. La sfida a toccare il cancello. The guys search behind the bush and even inside it, but there's no evidence of whatever the strange flying black thing might have been. Then Dell makes a disturbing discovery. There's a tombstone in there? There's a tombstone right here, dude. Look at that. There's a tombstone. 1842. Dude, that is freaking crazy, bro. The bush that the strange dark shape flew into is actually the marker for a grave dating back to the year 1842. So was this bizarre shadow figure one of the spirits that haunted the old graveyard? Maybe returning to its grave? And if not, then just what is this? Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. No, today not. Rings a bell. It doesn't look like a bell. Rings a bell. It doesn't look like a bell. Rings a bell. Rings a bell. Ma sembra gatta. Jocelyn Levin says that his mother's friend captured something very strange. Magari non ne conosco bene le gatti possibili, eh, però. Ah, hanno fatto volare un gatto. Cameron McReynolds. Ok. It's a little after four in the morning when a translucent shape appears out of nowhere and seems to activate the ring doorbell six John, times before it moves away and disappears. Now, usually I would just write this off as a spider web that's too close to the lens, but a spider web can't ring a doorbell six times. And also this thing seems to react each time the doorbell rings. Then it just moves off and disappears into the night. Again, not really like a spider web. So could this be a paranormal event caught on camera? Or just what is going on here? Like yeah. Let me know what you think. 
È un fantasma. Ma chi è? 2026 del 25 giugno. Late one night, Shally and her daughter Melody go outside to take a look at a group of cute cats. Oh, Mami Shally! In the yard outside their home in Indonesia. Che bruttisce pure, si fa... Oh, oh, oh. A very creepy turn. Mami Shally. Io non vedo gatti. Ada apa, De? Ada apa? Ah, quello è un gatto. Dia ada lihat ada apa emang? Masuk. Kenapa ni? Did you see it? I didn't see it. Someone or something can be seen standing on a rooftop right in front of them. Mana mai sih emang? Shelly doesn't see it and is confused as to why her daughter is so upset. It's only after posting the video to TikTok that viewers tell Shelly there was something on that roof. Non mi sembra a me what do you think this is? Let me know. Uninvited. No, the Korean ghost hunt live streamer Michael from the YouTube channel Docha Michael explores an abandoned house that is said to be haunted. When Michael arrives at the location, even before he has a chance to enter the building, strange things start to happen. Docha Michael. What? 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 Wow. Wow, nothing changed. As soon as Michael starts recording and is just about to enter the old abandoned house, a wheelchair starts to move all on its own. Now obviously Michael is shocked by what he just witnessed, but he has no idea that things are about to get even creepier. Che si è messo sul letto di una casa abbandonata? Chi è? Chi è? Porca troia, ma che sei matto? Something seems to pound on a door, catching Michael's attention. Then the door suddenly swings open on its own. Creepiest of all, whoever or whatever was pounding on the door seems to be hiding behind a curtain and quickly moves away. When Michael runs over, there's no one there. Just an empty room. Later into the investigation, Michael finds a mirror on top of a makeup table. This is when things get downright chilling. Di cosa te avanti dimmi? Di entrare a piedi vari. Piedi vari. Minchia. Suoni non rassicuranti questi, eh? Samo che il fondo. Sta smesciando un po' di mite. Passato uno dietro, ragazzi, eh? <ride> The ghost 
hunter's stomach suddenly starts to growl from hunger, and he is so distracted rubbing his belly that he doesn't even notice that someone or something okay, is walking up right so it's good to behind him. But when he turns around, again, there's just no one there. Michael has no idea what he just captured on camera. He continues his exploration of the creepy abandoned building. Now Michael hears a sound coming from the same curtain he filmed earlier. When he gets close to the curtain to find an explanation to the strange sound, this happens. Something seems to punch at Michael through the curtains. Understandably, he is terrified by the strange well, attack and makes normal. a run for it. So did Michael capture evidence of something paranormal on camera? Something trying to attack him? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can check out this full investigation and many more creepy videos over on the TikTok channel. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and click the little bell notification icon so that you never miss a video. Also, follow me on all them socials. And uh